before we sing our final song for you this afternoon, I'd like to say a few words about this wonderful group of young people that I've had the opportunity to work with this weekend. I'm blessed. Thank you so much for all of this, your hard work. Linda already talked about how much the middle school students rehearsed. These students rehearsed hard. It was fun yesterday. And from 9 o'clock in the morning until 4 o'clock in the afternoon, they never let up on their intensity. You can be so proud of them, parents. You can be so proud of them. Of them. I would like to echo what she said about the importance of singing in a student's life and the importance of keeping it in our schools. It's so much more than just singing, isn't it? I mean, when I look up here and I see this group, I see a microcosm of what I think we would all like society to be. And that is a group of people, no matter what their background, rich or poor, you know, it doesn't, doesn't matter the color of our skin or anything else, coming together in one place to create something of great beauty. And wouldn't that make the world a better place? theory that if all of the leaders of the nations of our world had sung together in a choir when they were younger, we wouldn't have the problem. <laughs> I would also like to thank um, what has been a wonderful experience working with a great accompanist. Uh, Catherine Fagiolo, um, I mixed two vowels, didn't I? Fagiolo. Thank you so much for everything that you have done this weekend, and would you give her a round of applause? Close with Ron Williams, oh, clap your hands. 